Hey, what's up everybody? Today I got a couple of errands to run and I wanted to make a video for the channel so I could have something to upload and show you guys today. So I figured why not test out the camera on the iPhone 10 and at the same time bring you guys along with me so you can kind of see how I make some of my videos. So today I'm gonna give you guys a good look at how I produce and what happens behind the scene. So sit back and I hope you enjoy. Best Buy so we're gonna go on ahead in here and get some of the things that I got on my list so let's do it this is what we're looking for uh, working over here did you need anything else today sir no that's it uh, I think I, I told you guys I'm pretty much a fickle buyer. So I left Best Buy because I didn't know if I wanted to get the iPad seeing that I already have a MacBook Pro. So I looked at it for a little while in the store and then I ended up leaving without it. So I got the DJI Osmo and it's actually getting close to sunset. So that golden hour, I think I'm gonna try and unbox this. I'm not sure if it's gonna have any battery in it now but you know why not take a chance if I can get some good shots there's a nice park by my house um, that I could actually put this thing to the quick test and see how I like it so I'm gonna go ahead and open this up now and see if I can get my iPhone balanced in here and if there's any battery if there is then we'll take it for a quick spin it's pretty cold out today but I wanted to get out here and get some uh, testing done on the iPhone 10 so you guys can see what this video is like so let me know in the comments down below what do you think here we go exposing for the background so let's see let me know so after actually testing out the camera on the iPhone 10, I've learned a few new things, starting with the fact that I can actually use it to make videos if I wanted to. I'm not gonna hate. I'm pretty impressed after watching the footage back. The front facing camera gets the job done, but I will say that I like the front facing camera on my Note 8 better. My initial findings for the rear camera is that when lighting is optimal, this thing shines, but in everyday low light situations, it struggles just like most others. Sure, you can get some good shots if you tinker around, but not everybody knows how to do that. Here's the thing, with any photo or video, lighting definitely matters. In the right lighting with the iPhone 10, you can definitely get some great pictures and videos. So as of today, this phone is starting to grow on me. Okay, so there you guys have it. Just a quick peek behind the curtain. So what do you think? Would you use your iPhone to make a video? Let me know in the comments down below. If you've enjoyed this video, do leave a thumbs up. And if you're new here, subscribe to join us. As always, I'd like to thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you in my next one.